I'm just seeing if I can bring that in a little. Now what I've done so far, I've given it a coat of this. That's the paint, because I'm not going to paint any more to it. Um, not that I know of. <laughs> but uh, I've used this Decker patch, and it's a glossy glue. Now, it's not... Well, it has dried, but I'm going to do another coat. And I've also added... Because don't forget, it's going to be that way. So let's spin it round. I've decoupaged some flowers onto it. And I don't like them. <laughs> so what I can do, I can paint that white and go over that. So I'm not bothered about that whatsoever. Because I can... I think I might decoupage a picture onto it. I don't know. We'll see. That can be changed. It doesn't matter. So I'm just going to share with you... Um, about doing another coat of the decoupage only because um, I want a high gloss on it if I can but it does have to dry properly um, between the coats now I'm just loading up part two so this will be part three and again I'm just using the same flat brush um, yeah that's dry that's dried enough and it's just a case of doing a really I'm going to put plenty on this time I mean I'm not bothered about it going over the edge it all wipes off we will try not to <laughs> okay and because it's a water-based paint although it's um really pretty um it will come off with the glue like I say, put plenty on. This is best time not to skimp because you want a high gloss, but blend it in. You know, all the edges. You don't want to leave ridges if you can help it. I'm just going to work around the egg. And if you can see any ridges on it, blend them in. Oops, see I mean it doesn't matter if you do that at all because you're going to be taking that ledge ledge <laughs> edge off when you cut it and I really do want mine to be strong as possible when I cut mine and it's just a case of going going over the paint best you can say it's not that bothered I'm not fussed about going over it I will mark it out again and make sure that we get a, a nice edge going on there I just want it to uh, quite shiny now I was going to put the fiber on and unfortunately when I tried it I did have to test it you see I didn't like it so I'm not doing it <laughs> so Fifi's changed her mind again as she does as she always does and whether it's a lady or a chappy from Morocco and um, that keeps giving me the thumbs down I don't know if anybody's aware but you can actually see I mean there's thumbs down from the UK we know they are but um, I don't know if you can actually you can go into your analytics, go into where it says uh, thumbs down and it'll tell you what country they are, where it's coming from. So I've got one in uh, Morocco that does it a lot. So I do know who you are. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I just think it's silly. What well, silly, silly childish behaviour. It's probably a child anyway, or child minded. And although this is not quite touching and there's a little gap, I'm not fussed about that because we're going to, I've got some beautiful, absolutely gorgeous trimming. This diamante stuff that uh, I'm going to be doing mine with. And I've chosen to do silver. Oh, well, 
I don't know, I might change it, new silver and gold. It all depends what I want. What I fancy doing at the time when I come to do it. And like I say, I'm just... This will protect the egg when I cut it, I hope. And the bird lady, the bird lady, the egg lady said so. <laughs> I'm going to trust her um, judgment. And we'll see. Like I say, when I used to do the ordinary chicken eggs, um, that was uh, many years ago, and uh, well, not that long ago actually, and a coat of varnish, and that's all you needed, it was protected, you could cut it then. Yes, yeah, so there's somebody in Italy, somebody in Morocco, um, that's doing the thumbs down. Um, go into your analytics and you'll be able to see from what country. And then you can guess by going along and seeing who your subscribers are. I'm sure I'm not going to get that many from Morocco watching. If they're going to give thumbs down, I'd rather them say why. Mm. And the couple we get from the States. Um, I'm not sure if everybody can see mine. Because uh, I don't have mine set that you can. But I do have somebody from the States. We know who they are. And we know who the one in the UK. Or the two in the UK are as well. And uh, They're just childish people. Very, very much so. And that's done a really good layer. I don't think I'll be doing another one on that. I don't think I need to. But I do like the colour. Purple and pink, fantastic. So, what I'm going to do now is just let that dry. Um, and then I'll be turning it around and doing the pink. I'm going to find a picture. And I might... I do have some pictures. So, oh, my back. Let me just see if I can find a really nice one. Um, it might have to be a black one. Look at this. She's actually holding an egg. Look at that. Now... That would be good, wouldn't it? But I now have to cut that. Because that's going to have to go on there. Like so. See, like that. But then it does have to, right, that's fine. It's going to go on there. <laughs> I will make it go on there. So let's get this Mod Podged onto there. Let me just hold this up. It is a little bit easier if I can use it like this. I don't have to get it going. And then, maybe we can go from there. Let's have a look. It's a bit more pliable now. And once that's set into place, I can then give it a cut. And if you look at the edges, you can see where it needs to be. Just roll your finger across the picture and it lets all the air out and all the excess glue. And if you keep doing it, as the glue's drying, it will work the most difficult part of doing this sort of thing is not to drop the egg <laughs> because you know they're not cheap i'm not fussed about this you're not going to see any of that when the egg's done 
not really right now what I'm going to do is just to again give that a really good coat of glue go over her face because we do need to make sure it's done correctly brush from the middle out and that does dry pretty clear you want to be able to see her features now when this is actually done and dry um, I'm going to press that down with my nail that will flatten that as much as it can um, I'm going to be putting a coat of glossy accents on it which will give it a, um, a frame like you know a um, glass frame basically that's what it'll look like like it's got a, a glass frame just using my finger at uh, fingernail thumbnail to flatten anything down that's sticking up and because I have manipulated the card by soaking it first and adding a couple of nicks in it it's um, I can use my thumbnail to iron it down basically and once that's uh, in place I can go back again and give it another coat so we're going and it will all protect the egg press that right down leave that to dry and then we're going to coat the bottom paint the bottom section and um, which is actually the top if you know what I mean um, and I'll be back well we're back to do the top part now as you can see it's dried hopefully it's dried enough if not I can always go over it this is now dried so I've got the picture on that I want and I'm now going to paint the top section now I can't make my mind I think that's too pink but I could do a coat of that with a coat of that so I've now got to see if it works ah I don't know I don't know which one to do so what I'm going to do is myself a little test and I might just do this just paint the top of my lid just paint that dry it off paint it again is that too pink? Not sure. I don't want it. I want it elegant looking rather than shabby. I like that. Done. Decided. I'm going to paint it that first. And then go over it with that yes that's what i'm going to do would have been better on a bit of cream paper <laughs> so what we're going to do and like i say i'm not that fussed if we don't get this perfect to start with let's just move everything out of the way and um we can start painting now like i say it doesn't matter if it slightly goes over because i can see the ridge with it being see-through paint you know at the top there where that's going to be done by um, drilling it oops paint from the lid fee I only did it from the pot before because the other one was too thick there we go and again this is going to need a couple of coats now what's bothering me more than anything is that I haven't dried that enough and I don't want to get my finger prints all over it but I mean I can go over it again 
I just want to go around the hat to get that going. You say I'm not too fussed there because it's going to have um, diamante trim around the hat. I've got some very, very fine brushes that I can do any touching up afterwards. Even if it's got, um, you know, um, gloss on it, like a polish or something, because uh, all the glue that I use. I'm going to do that another coat in a minute. Right now what I'm going to be doing, and I've got the gold bullion out. The, it's really fine chin, and if you, well, chin it is stretchy and you can thread a needle in it and then you can do it in embroidery but I'm going to use it on my egg because it's very fine it's glittery and I like it there you go <laughs> so I'm just going to dry this off a little bit more and give it one final coat I think and it may need two of the other one a little bit pinkish for me I need it toning down for me you know, for the elegant look I'm, look, um, I'm after. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one more coat of this to darken it. Um, not to darken it, but to fill the gaps, basically.
I hope that you can um, or that you will try something like this I mean I am trying to get it across um, how easy they are to do um, I mean obviously you do your own in your own style uh, but they're not hard and they're they are quite therapeutic to do but I hope you have a go at something different now if anybody has a farm and does ostrich eggs or goose eggs or anything like that and you can help um, send some more of the cheaper than what I can buy them for I would appreciate it you know and, and definitely will buy them but because um, I love doing things like this I love it I really do this is my kind of crafting So if you do know where you can get them or, you know, you know somebody who has a farm with them on, please, please let me know and please, you know, tell me how much they are so that I, I'd like to do a couple more. Right, I'm going to leave that now because I don't think that needs any more. I like the two colours um, and the only thing I've got to do is to cut it when the... Um, thing arrives the dr uh, dremel yeah and this is going to be glassed over with glossy accents so i'm not worried about any of it at all okay so we'll just let that dry i'm gonna help it along love the colors and i hope you do too um, like I say we're going to cut this this will be done in diamante all the way around both the edges and both this edge and that edge as well so I hope you uh, come back for that hi everyone right now um i'm going to show you how far i've got now i thought i'd turn the camera on and i hadn't so i'm gonna to have to come back and show it this way now i'm really really sorry but i will take you through the process after you saw in the last video that i painted the egg in the two-tone um what i've done so far well what i did next was i added um, the really tiny bling chain around the edge of the picture and then I've, I think you can see I've glossed it and I've just used glossy accents to, um, I put it around the edge on the inner side of the, um, inside of the chain, uh, put plenty on and then I used a paintbrush, the same one I used to paint the egg with and I just painted it over the picture which has now given it a sheen. I was going to go all out and do it but to be quite honest it doesn't need it. Um, I've also added some earrings and a bit of bling in the hair um, and then I found these which I sell in the shop these are buckle you know like book fasteners so I've split them and then added these three bling now I am doing oh on this sorry I am this was an earring that um, I've now added there with this bit here now I can't hold it up because this is still drying I need to keep pushing that down that one and you know that's what it's like so far I hope you can see that I don't want anything to fall off see and it does look gorgeous um, and I'm still able to cut the egg because the egg will be cut this side of that and this uh, pearl lifts up so that won't be in the way either so that's what I've done and it took me a while to sort out the jewellery side of it, the bling and I tried lots of different things, you know, um, cutting different things up even was going to put that on and that but too much, too much, too big, it wasn't elegant enough had a beautiful bow but um, it didn't look right but when I did this, I did like it and uh, I think that's quite elegant that now I'm going to use the chain to do swirls once uh, to, I'm going to do the edging and then I'm going to use chain to do a couple of swirls on the top piece only and leave the base but it will have a diamante ch double chain here 
Um, and apart from that, that is my egg at the moment. I will take a picture so far and uh, we'll be back to do this, the chain. Bye-bye for now.